I guess as you all saw the first of the video, a uh, shipping container came in. I'll uh, give you guys a tour of that here in just a minute. Uh, I've been really busy, been having to work a lot away from the garage. So I had a few things I had to do and my shipping container come in and I had to move it around. So I've not got much done this week and I'm fixing to pull an 11 day straight because the guy that works the shift opposite of me is taking vacation. So Tommy's garage will be shut down for about 12 days. But I can show you guys what I am working on right here. My daughter has a Mini Cooper supercharged. And I found out by looking at YouTube videos that these things, the harmonic balancers are notorious for just flying apart. Pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. She was in a big town west of us, about an hour and away. All of a sudden, all of her lights come on and the steering quit. Of course, she didn't know what was wrong with it, but I said, the serpentine belt has come off. So I get down there, load her car up on the trailer, bring it back home, put it up on the ramp. Or, uh, I'm sorry, put it up on the Leah. And took the inner wheel and the inner fender off and found that. It goes right there. So I got it pulled off. But being a foreign car and being something that I've never worked on before. It has to have a special tool to take the tension off the idler so I can put the belt back on. But another glorious task, I have to get that tensioner pulled out of the way before I can put the balancer on. Let me see if I can get you guys up here where you can see. If you'll look right up there at the top, that's the tensioner right there, and it's in the way of putting the balancer on. So I can't even put the balancer on without getting that thing up out of the way. I've not been able to find anything about some special trick to get those up. It's just going to take a tool, a special tool, to get it pulled up out of the way. So. I had to quit on that project. She's got another car to drive, so I'm just gonna let that sit here until I get back off of vacation. Or I mean, uh, off of overtime. So, but uh, I'm gonna set this to charge here. And uh, it's hard to do one-handed. There we go. Yeah, the garage is a mess. I've got so many things that I need to get out of here. These little containers back here that I've been storing since I built my garage, they're perfect for putting parts in. Putting little labels on them and keeping up with them, like say on a spreadsheet on your computer, but I've got all of those. I've got them sitting around everywhere. All those are going to go into my storage container, shipping container. tired of this place being piled up so finally got that thing delivered see I have more right here more down there this whole corner back up here and show you guys this whole corner is just piled with stuff exhaust pieces mufflers There's tires doors Plus, I've got a whole bunch of stuff over at our cabin that needs to be brought over here and put away. Hoods and so forth. But here it is. It is in place right beside the garage. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it and paint it exactly like the garage is. Dark brown on the bottom, tan on the top, all the way out. Keep, keep the neighborhood happy. This is a 40 foot HC, which is high ceiling. Okay, so I wanted to store any eight foot pieces of metal or anything like that. I wanted to get something higher than eight feet, so it's nine foot six inches tall, 40 feet long. It's in pretty good shape. It's not beat up really bad. I bought it from uh, a place down around Atlanta. I'll just warn you folks that if you do get one of these, which they're really, really nice, and they're not very bad price-wise, you're not going to build a building eight feet wide, nine and a half feet tall, and 40 feet long for what I give for this. So, but the shipping price was almost a third of what buying it was from Atlanta up to here. So, about... 350 400 miles so anyway I'll show you the inside probably hard, hard to see I guess but uh, it's very deep the floor is in really good shape they guarantee that if you don't like it minus the shipping they'll give you your money back so if you go sight unseen so if I didn't like it, I'd have had to pay to have it shipped back down there, so it didn't work. But anyway, it's this deep. It's really nice. I've got plenty of room to just store stuff in. So, I don't know if any of you watch Musty One's videos. But he bought one of these to store some VWs in. And I noticed that he had to take a jack and... Uh, fix a few spots on the ceiling. I've got one spot right there that something's hit it and it's kind of fell in low. That's going to be something to eventually rest completely through and start leaking. So I'm going to try to fix that. But it doesn't leak and it's clean and dry on the inside. It smells like seawater. My wife Debbie don't like the way it smells. So I told her I'd try to leave it open. But anyway, just want to give you guys an update on what's going on. Uh, sorry I won't be able to post anything for a while, and I'm sorry that there's nothing on the on the 65 pickup, but I've just not had time to do it. I've had too many other projects that my daughter's car and other things that need to be done, so I mean fun in the garage kind of takes a back seat to have two things. So anyway, uh, if you guys like my videos. Give me a like. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Go back and check out some of my old videos. I'd be glad to have you aboard. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I promise I'll have something put up in the next couple of weeks. But uh, I've got 11 days, 11, 12 hours days straight at Molly. So I'll uh, talk to you all later. Hope to see you again real soon. Shoot me a comment down below and thank you all for watching. See you, bye.